Happy Native American Heritage Month, Verified News Community, from my Native American, Irish American family to yours. I'm VNN's Brittany Harlow with your quick November news bite. It was Indigenous news aplenty this month. Let's start with the good news. VNN's sold-out Exploring Indigenous Allyship Community Dinner was as enlightening as it was enjoyable. Dozens of Native and non-Native community stakeholders gathered at Philbrook to respectfully discuss Indigenous challenges. Stay up to date with this innovative concept on our newly designed webpage. Some of the challenges discussed included Oklahoma Highway Patrol officers beginning to ticket tribal members with tribal tags who live off-reservation. Osage Nation said they are working to develop a tribal compact in response. Muskogee Creek Nation announced a lawsuit against the city of Tulsa and its leaders this month, alleging the city is unlawfully prosecuting Creek citizens for traffic violations. And on a lighter note, VNN's Rachel Schuett told us about the legacy of Native Americans in the Great Lakes state. In election news, voters took to the polls in Oklahoma and New York this month. In Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, voters approved a $52 million school bond. And in Binghamton, New York, voters elected a new district attorney and new city councilors. Voting won't be the only way you can make your voice heard in 2024. We're taking VNN's slogan, Giving News Back to the People, to another level with the launch of our citizen journalism project. Designed for underrepresented people who want a stake in news storytelling in their communities and funded thanks to a grant from the Oklahoma Media Center, applications for Tulsa citizen journalists will open up in December. Discover more news from all of our VNN collaborators in the free VNN app, on our YouTube channel, and by signing up for our email news and updates, if you haven't already. Thanks for tuning in for our November News Bite. For VNN, I'm Brittany Harlow, and we'll see you at the end of the year.